Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. For today, we will continue our lesson on Mathematics Year 4. The topic that we are going to learn today is Addition and Subtraction of Money. As you can refer in your textbook, page 110 and 111. Okay, now we go to example number one in your textbook. As you can see on the screen, you can see that the question is, what is the balance of Puan Badaria's money after the investment in Batik Trading? Okay, this is the money that Puan Badaria have at the beginning, which is 45,000 180 ringgit and then account balance in another account which is Amana Saham National 23,596 ringgit and 30 sen and then she used 60,849 ringgit and 70 sen in invested in Batik trading so you need you need to find out what is the balance iaitu kamu kena cari berapakah baki duit Puan Badaria selepas beliau melabur di dalam perniagaan batik trading so the mathematic sentence ayat matematiknya ialah 45,180 ringgit plus 23,596 ringgit and 30 sen subtract 60,849 ringgit and 70 sen. So let's find out how to solve this problem. As you can see, the question involving three numbers. So you need to do part by part. So you must do addition first which is 45,180 ringgit plus 23,596 ringgit and 30 sen. After that, we will continue with subtraction the another number. Jadi soalan ini melibatkan tiga nombor. Jadi kamu hendaklah membuat operasi bahagian demi bahagian iaitu membuat operasi tambah dahulu. Kemudian Setelah mendapatkan hasil tambah, barulah kamu tolak dengan nombor yang seterusnya. So, you write number in the standard method. 45,180 ringgit plus 23,596 ringgit and 30 sen. So, you can see that there is no sen on the top number so you need to add 0 0.00 so that the format of the two numbers will be the same and then you must make sure the decimal point in the straight line okay and then we start to do addition on the right side. So, 0 plus 0 equal 0. And then, 0 plus 3 equal 3. Then, remember to put the decimal point. And then, 0 plus 6 equal 6. 8 plus 9 equal 17 and then 1 plus 1 plus 5 equal 7 5 plus 3 equal 8 4 plus 2 equal 6 and then write the RM symbol after that we will continue with subtraction so You move the 
answer here on the top of the next question like this and then subtract with the last number then underline and then we start to subtract 0 subtract 0 equal 0 3 cannot subtract with 7 so you need to do regrouping so you borrow from 6 6 will become 5 and then 3 will become 13 13 subtract 7 equal 6 and then write the decimal point 5 subtract 6 cannot is it so you need to borrow from 7 7 will become 6 and then 5 will become 15 15 subtract 7 equal 6 then 6 subtract 4 equal 2 7 cannot subtract with 8 so you need to borrow from 8 8 will become 7 7 will become 17 17 subtract 8 equal 9 7 subtract 0 equal 7 and 6 subtract 6 equal 0 and then don't forget to write RM symbol so the final answer you will get is 7926 ringgit and 60 sin let's go to question number two which is 66258 ringgit subtract 907 ringgit and 45 sin plus 8138 ringgit and 20 sin so this question also involving three numbers so you need to do part by part and this time you will do subtraction first jadi soalan ini juga melibatkan tiga nombor jadi kamu buat nombor yang pertama dan nombor yang kedua operasi kali ini ialah operasi tolak so you write in standard method like this ok so you need to add the decimal point so that the structure or the format for these two number will be the same. Kamu taklah menambah titik perpuluhan sifar-sifar supaya format kedua-dua nombor ini ialah sama. Alright. Now, we try to subtract. Before that, you must make sure the decimal point in the straight line. Okay, pastikan titik perpuluhan berada di garisan yang lurus. Okay, now so we start to subtract starting from the right side. Okay, 0 sin subtract 45 sin. Cannot, right? So, we need to borrow from 8. We borrow 1 ringgit from 8. So, 8 will become 7. 1 ringgit, when you convert into sin, you will get 100 sen 100 sen subtract 45 sen you will get 55 sen and then don't forget to write the decimal point and then continue with 7 subtract 7 equal 0 and then 5 subtract 0 equal 5 2 cannot subtract with 9 because 2 is smaller than 9 so you need to borrow from 6 6 will become 5 2 will become 12 12 subtract 9 equal 3 and then 5 subtract 0 equal 5 6 subtract 0 equal 6 and then don't forget to write RM symbol. After you get the answer, you need to add with the third number. Okay, and then you put the answer on the top. 
like this and then plus with 8138 ringgit and 20 cent underline and then start your addition from the right side 5 plus 0 equal 5 5 plus 2 is 7 and then write the decimal point 0 plus 8 equal 8 5 plus 3 equal 8 3 plus 1 equal 4 5 plus 8 equal 13 and then 6 plus 1 equal 7 then write your RM symbol so you get the final answer is 73,488 ringgit and 75 cent Let's go to example number 3 24,332 ringgit and 60 cent plus 36,780 ringgit and 90 cent subtract unknown equal 18,570 ringgit and 45 cent Right now we have unknown in the middle of the question Sekarang kita ada ruang jawapan yang tidak diketahui di tengah-tengah soalan jadi so you need to do simple example method ok simple example method you need to use small number to represent the question here like this ok you replace the first number with 6 plus 4 subtract 8 equal 2 jadi kamu naklah menulis satu persamaan matematik yang mudah contohnya 6 tambah 4 10 10 tolak 8 sama dengan 2 okay, jadi kamu tulis begini untuk mewakili nombor-nombor yang di atas so right now the unknown is 8 so we need to find out 8 how to find out 8 so, first of all, you need to do addition. 6 plus 4 equal 10. And then, subtract 8 equal 2. So, to get answer 8, what you must do with 10 and 2? So, you know that you must 10 must subtract with 2 to get answer 8. So you follow with your question here. First of all, you must do like this. 6 plus 4. So you follow. You must do this addition first. So we write here. 24,332 ringgit and 60 sen. Plus 36,780 ringgit and 90 sen. Okay, then you do addition. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 9 is 15. Write the decimal point. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 8 is 11. 1 plus 3 plus 7 also 11. 1 plus 4 plus 6 also 11. And then... 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 then write your RM symbol and then by looking at the simple example method after that you need to do subtraction which is 10 subtract 2 what is 10? 10 is the total of 6 plus 4 same like this the total number for number 1 and number 2 is this one so you need to Put the number on the top okay and then you subtract with the last number okay and then you underline so we do subtraction from your right side 0 subtract 5 cannot is it so you need to borrow from 5 
5 will become 4. 0 will become 10. 10 subtract 5 equal 5. 4 subtract 4 equal 0. Then write your decimal point. 3 subtract 0 is 3. 1 cannot subtract 7. So you borrow from hundredths. So 1 will become 0. 1 here will become 11. 11 subtract 7 equal 4. 0 cannot subtract with 5. So you borrow from 1000 place value. 1 will become 0. 0 will become 10. 10 subtract 5 equal 5. Then, 0 cannot subtract with 8. So, you borrow from 10,000 place value. 6 will become 5. 0 will become 10. 10 subtract 8 equal 2. And then, 5 subtract 1 equal 4. Don't forget to write RM symbol. Then, you get the final answer. 42,543 ringgit and 5 sen. That is your unknown. So, I hope this explanation will help you to understand topic addition and subtraction of money. See you again in another lesson. Good luck and bye-bye.